So here we are, back in Narsh, leading Terra. So pretty much we're in the first cave that uh, Terra showed up in when she was escaping from the Narsh guards. And there's the bridge where they saw us, but they're not going to see us this time. So we're going to come back from Ava's house, Arva. Arvis. That's what his name was. So yeah, I always I always thought that Bannon was like the fourth general, because you know, there's always four generals, right? I always thought he was like the fourth general in uh, the Gastel army, and then he quit creating the Returners, and he was the leader, and then he had people in the Returners throughout the world. Stop looking at me, old man. So things have come full circle pretty quickly in the game, in fact. Started here and now we're back here and uh, yeah, that's a pretty accurate uh, presentation. But that pretty much ends our uh, that ends our whole thing. So it's always a good idea to save here. Should save there every time you finish one. Let's do the next one. We're gonna do locks. Uh, Saban's is really, really long. Yep. Uh, Lox is long too, but not as bad. Almost got caught. So you can't go back out that way? You can't leave Nersh, or, uh, South Fargo? I don't know if I showed this, but here's, uh, this is Duncan's wife. Finds the room a bit drafty. Oh, because there's something coming down here. There's a save point down here for some weird reason. So yeah, there's Duncan's wife. I forgot to show that off. So you can't leave South Fargo. Um, there is a way to do it, but I think it breaks the game. It's a nasty glitch, but I forget what it is. If you talk to these guys, they'll fight you. Uh, well, you could beat them, but it's not recommended. So let's not try that again. Lock's also severely underleveled. Uh, people that who aren't in your party will actually still gain levels, just not as much. So since we can't go through him, we'll go through the back here. Hey, kid. Oh, can I pass? Oh, only merchants, eh? All right. Oh, I'm back to slowly walking. So let's head to the item shop here. We can't go up and around either. There's a guard blocking the way up there. Hey, lady. Oh, thanks for telling me that now. Now you can buy your stuff. Buy your crap, get out. Uh, so let's talk to this merchant guy. Yeah, I'm a treasure hunter, actually, but... Uh, oh my god, he's going to attack me. What you want to do is you want to steal from this guy. He's not threatening, but you want to steal from him. You'll steal a plumed hat and his clothes. Interesting. It's rather humorous, actually. So Locke will actually steal his clothes and transform himself into... Damn straight, the price is right. And the guy will run away. Uh, so Locke will steal his clothes as well. And now he looks like a merchant. And he knocked the guy out, apparently, who still has his clothes on. Alright, so let's go talk to... let's go back to the... I don't know who this guy is. I know he serves the greatest, richest man in town. So now that we look like a merchant, we can now talk to the young man of the grandfather here. And he'll let us go by. Did I go over here already? Yeah, I think so, I think I got everything. You return to so many places, I forget what I miss. Nope. Gotta keep going. So you can buy equipment and armor. Lock should already have any everything. Um, the armor situation doesn't change. Can I get by? No. Okay. Well, he's not gonna let me buy. Let's go back, shall we? You will probably want to bring... Uh, Buy a little extra armor if you can afford it. 
Oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll see a green one. Yeah. Let's buy one. Oh, let's buy two. Why not? I got the money, right? Maybe a hairband. Got a ton of those. Um, no, I'm not going to need one of those. Although Locke could wear one. See, that guard would have blocked your way up here and you can't get past him. But if you head around the outskirts of the gated community here, you will actually find yourself a uh, arrogant guard patrolling up here, a green guy. Talk to him. And just like the merchant, uh, no, don't use items on him. Steal clothes, although he's a little more threatening. I should heal up. I think you're almost guaranteed. I, I think you can miss when you steal. It transforms into a guard. But yeah, I, th I think you can... Uh, the steal will fail, but I think it's very, very unlikely. So let's go back around. We're going to talk to that guard that told us to shoe, so let's find out what he's going to say when we are his superior. He's probably going to crap himself. I know it's going real slow, I do apologize. It's one of the reasons why the ports are a little better. Alright, well, you take your break. I'm going to follow behind you. Let's go to the cafe. Can't go to the docks or anything, so don't bother. Uh, it doesn't sound as lively in here today. That's a shame. Uh, go around all the guards here. What do you got to say? Oh, okay. Come on. Can I speak to you? No, I can't. So down here we'll find another merchant. Remember this merchant was the merchant that brought cider to the old man? We're gonna fight him. And we're gonna steal his stuff once again. There we go. And amazing transformation powers. This is kind of a neat little concept. I think this was also the first time in Final Fantasy history that they used disguises. And I think they used it a few times after that. Yeah. I think almost every game after that had some sort of those guys. Characters wearing disguises. After this, sorry. Alright. So let's walk all the way back. Yeah, this this chapter this chapter is a little longer than the other one, but it's a little more daunting, I guess you could say. Just back and forth, back and forth, a lot of useless stuff. Half of it's just getting around here, trying to get to the secret, uh, or not to the secret mansion, but to the mansion up there. Because the guards won't let you in the front gate, of course. They don't uh, recognize you. So bring this guy's insider, and, uh, oh, there's a secret passage? Okay. What's the password? Oh... Did he say he forgot? He did too, didn't he? Alright, password is, well, obviously not Rosebud. War failure would be a stupid password, so it's courage. I think you just keep guessing. I don't know what happens if you get it wrong, to be honest. Thanks, kid. We'll just head down the stairs here. We automatically get transported all the way to the shed of the old, of the rich man. Which I believe there are some items around here. I'm not sure where. I think there's one in the clock. Yep, the elixir, very good item. So we come out around behind the rich man's house. There we go, Phoenix down. Yeah, to save space, they had to cut out some of the, uh, shorten some of the words and stuff like that in the game. Uh, let's, actually, no, wait, let's go over here. <laughs> I 
I guess this uh, Gary's got a lot in for himself. Uh, I don't think there's anything in the kids' room. I don't know why there's a stove in the kids' room. Well, I guess that could just be the uh, tea room. I don't know. Let's come here. I don't know if this is the rich guy. I guess it is the rich guy. Oh, well. It feels bad for betraying the town. So if you had behind the bookcase, if you came here earlier, a woman would have claimed she could hear wind blowing. But, uh, uh, no, these are fine for now. If you head straight down from the doorway, and then to your right, you'll go down some secret stairs. And in here is a hyper wrist, which I believe is a relic that boosts your vigor, which is your attack. Whoa, quite a bit. And here is a little treasure chest behind the bars. Running shoes. Equipping this relic will cast haste on you. Yeah. Now, I always get uh, the sprint shoes and the running shoes mixed up as to which one does what. One sprint shoes run outside of the, on the field, while the running shoes run fast, or give you haste on in battle. You'd think it'd work the other way around, but oh well. So inside here we see, who is this? Some blonde haired wear lady wearing a green sports bra? Oh, she's got like a... Sort of a green bathing suit on. Obviously, since we get this little description of her, we are going to be playing, and it is General Celeste. As in Celestial. What, he's going to poison the people? Oh, I don't even know who that is, so... Wow, that's really cowardly of you. This guy's the best guard ever. And there's Locke hiding away. Yeah, pretty good lock. Uh, remover chains. Aren't you a little short to be a merchant? There we go. So at this point, he'll uh, he'll automatically take off the merchant's clothes. I think you can go back and get the imperial clothes. I'm not sure or not. I forget. Um, come on. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'll protect you. Lock protects the ladies. I did a pretty good job with Terra, I guess. Though Terra is probably stronger than him. Yeah, oh, well, let's search his pockets. No, oh, okay, well, let's take it. Nothing's gonna go wrong, right? Oh my god, he saw us! Or he's asleep. Okay. No problem. So what we're gonna do uh, in here is a save point. That's all. I'm gonna go to this room here. And sometimes you can get screwed up. Five hundred gold. You can get screwed up because the boxes kind of look like chests. Thousand gold. And it's ticking. Okay. Head under. That one's empty. Fifteen hundred gold. Check every pod as always. It's a weird little clock. Ah, it's not ticking. Okay, well let's wind it for. Oh wait, it's a secret pass to Bliss Prize. I think somebody told us that, anyways. So in here we have the, uh, the escape route. Uh, what do do? Okay, so let's equip her. She doesn't have anything. You probably want the Rune Edge. It boosts uh, evade pretty well. But I also believe it increases her magic damage. Uh, she, okay, so she came with a headband. Oh, I should have bought mithril armor. Oh, well. So that's what her, she comes with. Uh, relics. Uh, increase her strength. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. She 
comes at a decent... Usually, uh, when a party joint member joins you, they come in at uh, the uh, current party's average. So that's counting everybody that's not like Saban, Edgar, and uh, Terra as well. So, so there she is. She's pretty good. Uh, Runic. I'll explain more in battle, but that absorbs magic. She can also use magic. And her magic is the same as Terra's, except that it focuses on ice instead of fire. And she has the Imp spell, which is basically Toad in this version. So folks, I'm going to end it there for today, and in the next episode we'll make our not-so-grand escape. Bye now.